Hi, my little baby love. Okay, ah, uh, the perfect time of day to check some comments from my beloved viewers. Oh, I got a comment on a really old video. What they say, what they say. Uh, what happened to your hair? But good video. What happened to my hair? What the heck? What? Wait, what's wrong with my hair in this video? Yeah, about that video. Okay. <laughs> that video is almost two years old. It literally just had its second birthday. Happy birthday to you. The thing is, I made that video really, really early in my YouTube career. And even though it was super useful in my opinion and talked about all the materials that professional mangaka use in Japan, I still wasn't comfortable with talking to a camera yet. There were a lot of things going wrong. My hair, I still hadn't mastered the mushroom yet, not to mention I had just cut off all the tidbits of blue hair that was left from before, so I was left with some kind of golden girl's haircut for a little while. I had to go out in the street like that. Times were rough that summer, okay? So today's video, I'm going to be redoing that old video. It's going to have some of the same materials from the original and some new goodies that I think you guys should try out because I have some new favorites that I really think you guys will love as well. Again, know that this video is filled with professional grade materials, so do not think that you need to buy all this stuff just to start your manga. You don't. This is for people who may want to buy professional grade materials or they at least want to know what professional mangaka do. But don't worry because I will be making a video very very soon, maybe within the next few days to follow up this video, filled with materials and supplies that you can get if you want to make manga on a budget or you're just getting started, you're young, you don't want to buy a whole bunch of stuff, you just want to practice and master your craft. So I'll be making a video very, very soon on that. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to make it sooner than later. Without further ado, let's get started. The first item you see here is my IKEA Alex drawer unit. I freaking love it. I store all of my screen tone in there. And screen tone is what mangakas use to add shading, patterns, and design to their manga. And is still widely used by professional mangaka in Japan. I use yellow folders to organize my tone because, girl, things get crazy when you're working on pages. So the last thing you need is to be all unorganized and not be able to find the screen tone that you're looking for. So definitely be organized. I also store some of my extra large artwork in the drawers. But if you saw this video on Instagram, bitch, yes, my portfolios. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> You know Mama recently upgraded and got themselves some big ass portfolios. So, they're acid free and archival safe and that makes me super happy. We have this IKEA shelf which holds all of my supplies. So, if you're on a budget, this shelf is so for you boo boo. Here we have more Itoya portfolios which house all of my manga pages. Here are my fave quill pen nibs, girl. But recently, my list of fave nibs has grown. I've experimented with some rigid Japanese quills, and they are, oh my god, girl. They work so well with my style. Quills are not a one-size-fits-all type of thing, so try a few different ones just to find the best fit for you. You'll also need a few brushes. You'll need them to add white ink details to eyes and stuff, and you may need them so that you can like white out some like inking mistakes that you might make, so definitely keep them around. Micron pigment liners are perfect for inking panels and are very easy to use with a ruler. You can learn more about how to use these tools and what size pen is best in my how to make manga videos. The desk I'm using is also from IKEA. <laughs> This desk came in two pieces, which means I had to buy the top and the legs separately. How are you gonna do that to us, Ikea? These little containers are inexpensive and make organizing your workspace so fun. Honestly, I am living 
for my new organizers in my workspace like this beautiful gold one that I got at Target. It holds everything I need. This is perfect for brushing away your little erasings. This tiny drawer unit that I hold all of my miscellaneous supplies, such as my tape, my inks, and my pencils. And over to the side, this little glass pencil case that I hold a lot of my pens. When I first made this video, I exclusively use speedball pens for inking. I still favor their ink and their nibs, but the Japanese pen handles are far more comfortable and don't make my joints feel sore after a long day of inking. Speedball, don't sleep on my request. Make your handles thicker. You'll need an X-Acto knife if you're using traditional screen tone. Next, professional mangaka use a tone hera. This is used to press screen tone down onto your paper. In my original video, I said that you could use sharpies if you were on a budget, and many people do. But I have changed my mind after Sharpie announced that their markers were not archival and can fade with age, y'all. So I recommend that you use my favorite marker by Faber-Castell, which is filled with India ink. You can also use a brush to apply India ink if you prefer. Either way, you'll need some high quality ink for your quill pens. And girl, Speedball ink is waterproof when dry. If the blackest black ever, archival safe, girl, it is everything. And it's super inexpensive. Cha-ching! Masking tape is perfect for holding down your pages because it's super delicate and peels off without leaving any residue or glue. And I know this is super random, but Viva paper towels are so soft and won't clog your quills, which you'll need to clean frequently. Also, having a sketchbook filled with character designs is a great idea. Watch my video on how to make character sheets to learn more. If you're looking to publish your work, Invest in manga or comic paper. And please watch my video on how to properly use the blue guidelines printed on comic and manga paper because it will save your life when you go to print and publish your book. Stencils are always a good idea to have around. You never know when you'll need them. Mangaka always have copies of their own manga series by them while they work. It's super convenient and they can refer to them whenever they need to. And last but not least, having a precious cuddly companion will help ease you when you're trying to meet deadlines. Let me tell you that the links to all the supplies and all the furniture that you see in this video will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. I hope this video was super useful for you guys. Please check out my series Sacred. You can read the first few chapters here on YouTube and Volume 4 will be available in the coming days, guys. So I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I will be sharing a very special and emotional unboxing of the very first copy of Volume 4 that I received. Uh, and when that video drops here on YouTube, you will know that Volume 4 is officially available. So look out for updates here and on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it useful. And I hope that this was super useful for you guys for real. So please take care. God bless. And do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care, guys. That's pretty much what you want to do first, and this is pretty much how the process will look.